I think that's a very interesting distinction, the, the, the near-term and long-term perspective. I think it's on the short term, there's a lot of opportunities for insurance to do cost reduction all along the value chain. I mean, that's something that everybody's talking about, right? How can we do underwriting? How can we do claims management in a more efficient way and, and, and save on expenses there? I think the long-term goal is a little bit different, is what I was talking about during our panel discussion. I think there's only one long-term goal when it comes to AI and it's making our clients love us at scale. And it's, I mean, that's really something I'm, I'm, I'm convinced of. The only thing that's gonna keep us as an industry from being disrupted is making sure that at the end of the day, when we've deployed our, all of our AI algorithms, we're not only more efficient, that we can operate more efficiently and our costs are reduced and we're mu much more agile than we are today, but that we do it in a way that provides value to our end customer and that provides value in a way that makes them want to stay with us, right? Because that's the spiel here, that's really the end game. Because in the end, what's going to happen tomorrow if Amazon decides to become an insurance company or become a broker? How is it going to affect the industry? It's going to have a huge impact on the industry. So we have to be sure that tomorrow our customers like being our customers so that they stay our customers on the long term. I definitely agree with that it can be used to reduce costs from an internal value chain perspective. For me, that's not the long-term goal, as I just explained. The long-term goal is making our customers love us. And I think we have to be really careful about what kind of data we use, how we use it, and what value it provides to the end consumer. So I think it's very easy. I mean, I mean these days there's a cultural shift on the way where people are starting to realize that their personal data is worth something, mm -hmm. that it's like a currency. Mm -hmm. So uh, me as a consumer, I might be willing to spend some of my data mm -hmm. at an insurance company, provided that it gives me value, that I get value in return. And I think as, as an industry, we have to be very careful how we use data. We have to be very transparent mm -hmm. to the consumer about what we're gonna do with their data, what we're gonna provide as a value, and we have to really earn their trust. We have to really show consistently that we can be trusted with their data and that's where I and IoT and everything comes in. We have to use only the data that we really need to provide the value in question. So that impacts the whole way we think about product design, the way we think about product strategy. How are we going to create the products of the future? Mm -hmm. What kind of data do we need and what's the value that we're going to provide to the end user? Claims. claims. Yeah, definitely claims, the whole claims process. That's really the point where um, the client is most likely to leave us. If something goes wrong during the claims process, they're not happy, something happened to them. They feel like we don't understand them if we don't treat their requests as rapidly as we should, if we don't provide the right feedback. People, I mean, insurance products are a little bit peculiar, right? Because we pay for something that we're going to maybe get in the future. Mm -hmm. So we start paying today for something that may be of value to us five years from now. So when that moment finally arrives in the future, we have to make really sure that the value we provide is excellent and that the service we provide as a company is excellent. So that we can have this virality, that we can have this happy customer effect that we were talking about before. If at the claims, in the claims process, at the moment when our client really needs us, the client, the, the, kind of the service we provide is excellent, then in the long term the ROI will be terrific.